In this video I'm going to talk about how to use tweens inside of Arma 3D. Now this allows you to interpolate values from 0 to 1 or any movement or any position just like a keyframe except using nodes. Now we do have math nodes which do allow you to do everything but they're really hard to use and really complicated so instead we have these more uh, structured nodes that we're going to use today. So the first one is going to be the scale one. Now we added this to a mouse input so it happens every time we click our mouse and we're going to scale it from our current scale so we're getting the current scale here and send it to whatever interpolation we want. We're setting the time as well how long it's going to last this transition and then obviously every tick every second that this transition is happening we're actually going to scale down the object and the value is going to be the value of our tween. And that's essentially the principle for all the nodes that we're going to cover. As you can see, this is the exact same node setup, but for rotation. We're getting the rotation, we're setting it to whatever we want, and then every tick, we're actually applying that rotation using the set rotation node. And the value is obviously the value of our tween. So it's a very similar process. We have here a very simple scene with a mouse node down set to a translate object node. And what it's going to do is it's going to translate the object on the X. But you can see it's very blocky, very precise, it moves the, the exact amount of number. But what if we add in a tween vector node and plug it into the start? Set everything else to zero, make sure you add some duration. And this is going to create a fall off effect. So when we click, it's not just going to stop moving as soon as we take a mouse off, it's going to keep going with a little bit of fall off. So there's a little randomness to the movement. The most important node is obviously the tween transform because that encompasses the vector the x y and z location of an object the rotation and the scale so by plugging in a transform node and using the transform tween we can actually interpolate the transform from one position to the other and that encompasses all aspects of rotation scale and location of an object very powerful stuff but that's not the only thing we can actually do with this i've just shown examples of movements and uh, scale and rotation and these are all properties of an object but we can actually do a lot more with this we have a final node which is the tween float and this allows us to interpolate any sort of float value for example let's go ahead and change the transparency over time so we have to go to the shader editor add a value node set it to whatever name you want make sure you set it to parameter so we can control it with logic nodes i covered all this in a separate video right here you can check it out but what we're going to do now is we're going to actually just plug it into a tween node a float tween and this is going to interpolate the value from a fully opaque to a zero opacity so transparent in the space of a second for example and then we just plug into the tick and the value and there we go now when we click it goes transparent there are a lot of usage of uh, the float node to interpolate any sort of uh, uh, float value and you can use this for literally anything the possibilities are endless and you can go wild thank you so much for watching this has been a very useful video and i hope to see you again someday